It's a, yeah. You good, Ben? Yep. All right. We're here with Stacy Lewis, past Chevron Championship winner, making her 15th start here at the Chevron. Welcome back to the desert, Stacy. Welcome back Thank to Rancho you. Mirage. Uh, we've got fans. We've got heat. We've got the whole nine yards. How does it feel to be back here for the celebration year? Um, it feels much more normal. It feels what it should be. Um, it's, you know, at this place, I mean, the... I guess the best compliment you can give it, it's the same every time you come here. You know, the golf course is always in great shape and, um, you know, you kind of know what to expect as you're, when you're coming and um, just excited to excited to have one more opportunity to, to try to win here. You've made the jump before back in 2011. A lot has changed in your life since then. Mm -hmm. How is the Stacey Lewis that made that jump in 2011 different from the Stacey oh. Lewis now? Gosh, they, uh, when I was in the booth last week, they showed some highlights of it, and I was a little baby-faced kid then. Um, life, life is way, way, way different. Um, gosh, everything about it is different. The way I think off the golf course, the way I think on the golf course, um, my responsibilities are a lot different now. So, um, so life has changed, but you know, the best part is inside the ropes, golf is still golf. Mm -hmm. And, um, and I, probably, I probably love it more now than I did then um, just you know it's kind of becomes my little escape where I can turn my phone off and not worry about anything else mm -hmm. and and just enjoy enjoy playing and you are playing well a bunch mm -hmm. of good top finishes top 20 finishes this year mm -hmm. how are you feeling as you come in here to this week to the season's first major um, I'm excited you know got really good start in Florida um, much better than I was even expecting and then um, I haven't hit it as well, didn't hit it very good in Asia and kind of struggled a little bit last week, but, um, but I feel like I'm going in the right direction. I saw a lot of good positives of what we're doing and um, just kind of doing some little things to get back on track, but, um, but I'm excited. Bringing it here, you say it, it's always beautiful out mm -hmm. there. I know our tournament dr director saying every year I say it's the best, mm -hmm. but it really is better than usual this year. Mm -hmm. You're playing in your 15th time here. Mm -hmm. You've never missed the cut. Yep. Mostly good finishes, too, good strong finishes. What is yeah. it about this course that seems to suit your game? Um, I, I mean, obviously, I think a lot of knowledge of the golf course helps. I think that's the biggest thing. Um, and just, you know, obviously, I love it. You know, I had such a good experience when I played as an amateur. Mm -hmm. um, and I think just kind of helps you fall in love with the place and the golf course itself. So, um, you know, I think, I think that's a lot of it. I mean, the golf course is actually, I feel like it's changed a lot, especially the last... I go back probably five years. It's it's gotten a lot softer, and um, ball's not rolling quite as much off the tees. So, um, you know, which doesn't necessarily help me out. You know, it helps the bombers a little bit more, which is what you're seeing in the winners over the last couple of years. So, um, so uh, it it looks great. I'd like it to be a little bit firmer, but um, but other than that, it's it's all good. How has that changed your approach to the golf course, to the way you attack? Um, it, it's definitely different. I mean, I got to hit as many fairways as I can. You're going to, you know, you're going to have some longer shot. I'm going to have some longer shots in the holes and, um, just got to kind of pick my, pick my opportunities where I can be aggressive. And, um, the short game's just got to be really good. Wedges, mm -hmm. wedges and putting has to be really good for me to, to contend here. Awesome. We'll open it up for questions. Let me know on the Zoom if you have any. We'll start here with Beth Ann. Yep. <laughs> yeah, some, some big Hello. news with Lorena and, mm -hmm. and uh, the founders. Can you yeah. just talk about what you think of the rule change mm -hmm. and, and also letting all the founders in? Um, yeah, I mean, I was obviously very happy to see that. Um, I kind of did a little bit of work behind the scenes to get that meeting going. Um, you know, I just think it was something that needed to happen, um, especially the founders to me. Um, we, you know, since, you know, Shirley's getting older, you know, I, I, we needed to do it before, you know, before we lose all of our founders and they should be in the LPJ Hall of Fame. I mean, without them, we wouldn't, we wouldn't be where we are. So, um, and then Lorena getting in, I mean, is, is so well-deserved. I mean, she, she did so much for this game when she played. I mean, when she retired, we had three events in Mexico. Um, and we still have players from Mexico on this tour, but that just shows what an impact she had on the tour, but sponsors and just getting people in general to pay attention. So, um, you know, it's great to see her here. You know, she hasn't changed a bit. And, um, you know, uh, I think it's just, it's great for the LPJ Hill of Fame. What will you miss the most about this place? It's just the whole week, you know, I was, I was in the locker room and I still remember this one bench I went and sat on after I won. I'd done my press conference and went in the locker room. I was still wet, you know, 
trying to find clothes to change into. And I sat on that bench and I called my college coaches and, you know, it was like it all hit me there. And we don't get to do that. And I, I'm getting emotional about it. <laughs> um, but this place is so special to us as a tour. Um, I'm, I'm going to miss the whole week. It says a lot. Thanks, Stacy. That was my question. <laughs> Sorry. So you're bring I got everybody to going. Too. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go ahead, Shizuka. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, about Yuka Sasso. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, KPMG is uh, mm -hmm. her sponsor. And then yeah. she mentioned about you um, mm -hmm. yesterday's press conference. Mm -hmm. She respects you. And then she's happy to be a KPMG family with you. Yep. Do you have any thought about it? Yeah, you know, I've I've been fortunate. I've played with Yuka quite a bit. Um, she hasn't been on tour very long, and I've played with her quite a bit. And um, just a huge fan. I mean, she's got such a great personality for the game. And um, obviously what she does on the golf course is impressive, too. But just more personality. And um, she has fun with it. You know, she's... I don't, I don't know. You just don't see that in the young ones still coming out. You know, they. she just seems to enjoy it a little bit more than anybody else. And I love playing with her, and I think she's going to be around for a long time. Um, she she got your autograph last year, right? She did. <laughs> I've had That's happened to me quite a bit lately. Oh. It's just yeah. a sign that I'm getting older, I think. <laughs> I think that's, that's good. You know, younger generation respect you, you know? It is. You know, and you think back, I mean... These girls that are coming out that are, gosh, 20, 21 years old, they were 10, 11, 12, probably just starting the game when, you know, I was number one in the world and playing some really good golf. So um, so I try to put it in perspective that way, but it also makes you feel a little bit old at times. Um, but, you know, she, I remember we played at um, Dow at the team event last summer and Meg Mallon and Beth Daniel was out there and I went over and said hi to him and she's like, you know, she was asking who that was. And I was like, you need to go say hi to them, you know, and she, so she gets it, you know, she wants, she wants, she's learning about the game and learning the history of the game. And, um, you know, it is, is good, good for the game going forward. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Hi, Stacey. I'm yeah. Bailey with ABC Palm Springs. Mm -hmm. And I just think in sports, the words historic and iconic really get yeah. overused. But yeah. a place like this, a tournament like this, mm -hmm. I feel is the epitome of historic and iconic. Do mm -hmm. you feel the same way? It is. I mean, this this tournament is is our tour. It's the LPGA. I mean, when you ask someone about the LPGA, they know this place. They know the jump in the pond. You know, that that's what everybody knows. And um, it, it's where, you know, it's where you know, we're at a point now where our purses are getting bigger and this is where it started. You know, this is where Colgate kind of came on board and, and started, started that movement. And so, um, so it, it, it is, it's a sad, it's a sad week personally for me that we're leaving. Um, but I think Chevron's going to take this thing to the next level and, you know, we're going to take traditions with us and, and do it right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Beth Ann, go ahead. I had, had a lot of players, mm -hmm. you have really good short stents. Um, you know, not quite like Lorena esque. <laughs> yeah. And Jin Young's in the midst of a of a really impressive stint. Mm -hmm. What do you see from her in terms of staying power, and what impresses mm -hmm. you the most? Um, it impresses me the most. I mean, the ball striking obviously is so good. Um, I mean, just ish, I mean, on all different types of golf courses. You know, it's not just one type of golf course that she's she's successful on. And I think one of the things that impresses me the most is her ability to come she'll take two or three weeks off and she'll come right back out like like she just finished on Sunday the week before. Um, I think that's one of the most impressive things. I mean, I think for her, I know she's had some injuries, some things with her wrist. I mean, that's it's probably going to be the one thing that holds her back is whether she can, you know, continue to play as much. You know, if she, you know, if you get hurt and you can't play quite as much, it's it's a little bit different. But, um, I mean, mentally she's really good. I mean, there's there's not a whole lot of bad things you can say. Anyone you would compare her to? Hmm. Not really. I mean, I mean, I think hmm. she's so technically sound. Like golf swings are so technically sound. You know, it's not. You know, Lorena's probably a little bit funkier move, but was a great, great putter. Um, Yanni had the power, but she also had the short game in the putter. Embi's um, a putting wizard. Um, so she's kind of, I don't know, she's, I guess we haven't really seen the true ball striker like that. Um, but 
golf courses get in general golf courses are getting softer across the board so good ball strikers are going to stay around for a while and expanding on mm -hmm. that to the staying mm -hmm. power of being number one, mm -hmm. I know you've talked about, you can see what it's like inside the ropes, but inside number one, but outside mm -hmm. the ropes and inside the head yeah. of being number one. What's that challenge of, mm -hmm. of, of holding that <laughs> emotionally? Yeah. It's tough. Um, you know, I, I do think it's different. Being an American is probably different than being from South Korea. Um, I know they have their pressures at home, but as an American, you're you're pulled in a lot of different directions. You're asked to do a lot of different things, and um, you know you kind of have to get in your own little zone and do what you need to do to be successful. Um, and it, it's hard. It's hard to stay there. It's that's why I think, like Beth Ann said, you have little stints of people being number one in the world just because it is it's really hard to stay there just because of all the extra stuff that it requires gotcha. turn around and see you got anybody else I think my last question mm -hmm. i'm actually gonna um change gears a little bit and ask yeah. you about solheim cup yeah um we had the announcement last week mm -hmm. of, of morgan joining your team as assistant captain mm -hmm. i know you're focused on playing this week <laughs> but how do you balance when you're out here looking yeah. i mean and you're seeing american <laughs> faces out there you're going to be scouting yeah. the europeans a little bit yeah um how are you balancing that out the the playing duties and the captain duties it's been good you know i just i have to pay attention a little bit more to leaderboards probably look at a leaderboard a little more closely than i would in the past um, but it's been great. I mean, I just trying to get to know the ones, the younger players and the girls I don't know as well. And, um, you know, just trying to talk to people more and, um, making sure they feel involved in the process of what we're working on. I mean, we're not really doing a whole lot right now behind the scenes. It's still getting the assistance in place and kind of getting things rolling from there. But, um, but I mean, so far it's been great. I mean, I have, they are, all the girls were excited about Morgan coming on board last week. So, um, we just, we just need more American flags on the leaderboard and um, would love to see some of the girls in contention this week. Awesome. One last turn around be good? All right. Thanks so much, right. Stacey. Thank see you, you out there.